Hey, Harriet. It's been a while. You haven't really get into the basement, huh? Bet at least she hasn't tossed you out. That's something, I guess. Look at that, Harriet. Rose got me in trouble. I know I heard something, Arnold. Of course you did, my succulent strawberry. Don't patronize me. I'm not. I have very valuable things down here. Like that phony sarcophagus? Especially the phony sarcophagus. One of your many eccentricities. My beautiful baguette. There you go, patronizing. I'm not! You've been so sensitive lately, my playful pansy. Call me another annoying alliteration one more time, and I'll knock your head out of the ballpark. Whoa there, DiMaggio. You know I hate those awful pet names. Why can't you call me something like darling or sweetheart? Frankly, there is nothing sweet about your heart when you get into these foul moods, dear. Dear, yes. Call me that again. You've been like this all night. Are you mad at me? Why do you always ask me that? Because you always seem mad at me? <laughs> do I? Kind of. At least lately. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just... I've had a lot on my mind lately. You don't deserve it. It's all right. It's kind of creepy. I love it. If you say so. Silence, ye howling obnoxious mortals of ignorance! Oh, it's alive! Ye have awoken me from my infinite rest. See, Lisa, I told you that your Christians were wrong. Body fears of the the way. Body fears of the the way. He told the insect. The insignificant algae. Yes, master. Okay, who's there? I am the evening and morning star. I am the alpha and omega. I am, I am the son of Ra, nephew of Thor. What's going on down here? I am joy, I am love, I am justice. I am eternal life. Spirit! Make obeisance to me! What's going on? I aim to find out. Tell the world that, that, that Pharaoh Harriet has come to town and, well, she's ready to party, y'all! Don't tell me. No, no, please, sir. Ignore the man behind the act. <laughs> John, big up. Joshua. Hey, Joe, Lisa. Mm. Didn't need to crash your party. Who is this man? His cruel jokes are disgusting. Well, I really didn't think anyone would take it seriously. At least not until Arnold proclaimed, Polytheism is the way! Polytheism is the way! Uh, don't be a jerk, Joshua. Oh, it was choice, Arnold. It was as if all of Christian Judeo thought was debunked, and one of certain more. Choice. Utterly juvenile. <laughs> are those tears in your eyes? Excuse me, I have a hair in my eye. <laughs> A curse upon your life, son, and all of their offspring. <laughs> Did she really just curse me? I mean, really? She's been shooting those off all night. Charlie, our herds were Czechoslovakian gypsies. Quality girls you're picking up these days, Joe. Blind date. Arnold said so. Understood. Say no more. Joshua, <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, Harriet and I were about to elope and have a whirlwind romance in Rome. So long, you came down and spoiled the mood. We'll need a moment, Joe. Sorry to desert you in your hour of need, my friend. I'll take it bravely. Take comfort from Daniel in the lion's den. Joe! Okay. Always liked you, brother. I dare say he's always liked me. He didn't have to date you. You embarrassed me tonight. Arnold's the embarrassment. Polytheism is the way. Polytheism is the way. Stop that. That's what I was always talking about. That is exactly why we never could have worked out. Oh, Lisa. All that mean spirited sarcasm. I'm Lisa, I'm not here to revitalize our relationship, okay? I know. I know, I'm a jerk. You deserve better than me and a husband. Husband? <laughs> or boyfriend, or whatever I was or could have been to you. That's over now. I understand that. That's not why I'm here. 
How did you get in here anyway? Well, I saw, well, I mean, you know, I broke in. You broke into my basement? <laughs> you want to call the cops or something? No, no, of course not, but why? Well, I saw you all having your pizza party upstairs, and um, I didn't want to interrupt, so I figured I might wait down here until you were finished. I don't know if that's sweet or creepy. I can leave if you want me no. to leave. Oh. No, whatever. You've always made yourself home before. What else is there? Are you coming? Just wait a moment. You're being rude to your guests. Don't even think about cursing Lisa, or I'll lock you up in the sarcophagus. You or... Or, maybe we could even find an Iron Maiden. You wretched evil man! You're being unfaithful to Arnie! Arnold has nothing to fear from me. Watch where you leave Sam the Cat tonight. I've learned how to make voodoo dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Party game? Oh, no, I was teaching Arnold how to tie a necktie. He doesn't know how. He likes to wear turtlenecks and collarless shirts. Oh, maybe you should buy him a clip art. There you go again. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'll try and be nice to the guy, okay? Okay. Joshua, help. Don't give me that look. All right, all right. It's okay. I know. I know to tease your fiance and that you really love the guy. And you don't give your love to the unworthy. Yeah. That. I did not do not what you were doing down here! She's talking! All we're doing is talking! I don't believe you! Lisa, who is this lady? Where did she come from? It's totally different. I mean, I had a dog. The characters were you and me. You and me. You're the one who encouraged me to write it. That was when we were still together. I am engaged now. Everything is different. Lisa, be reasonable. Our story is over. Don't you dare try to recreate it. It wasn't our story. It was my story. I created this story and these characters. And their love goes on forever and ever. Not abandoned like someone wanted a child. I did not abandon you. In my story, there is forgiveness and reconciliation. Now you've gone and created a story of your own and you're welcome to it. But love is immortal for my creations. You had no right. No friend. And you have no right to destroy our ending! An ending you once approved of! But no, that's, that's not for us! But for these two characters, I created a love that could actually endure. That is a fiction that you created for yourself, you selfish brute! But love is a fiction!
Lisa, is everything all right? Conspiracy. There was so much yelling. Oh, please. Get him out of here. What? I know the way. No, wait. You, sir, are a thief. You really think you could just come in here and steal her heart? Love can't be stolen, my friend. Fully given. I wish you both the best of happiness. Good. Send the wretch away. And you, you get out of here too. What? But I'm your guest. No, you are a stranger to me. Now get out. I warn you, inhospitality will bring a curse upon your head. Your curses don't scare me. Oh, some of my curses are blocked, I know that. This one, this one will be potent. I will curse you that your engagement will fail with army. That he will find a woman he deserves. Let me guess, a woman like you? You'll lose him. So what are you doing? I'm sleeping by Harriet tonight. Uh, Lisa, I'll talk to her. Uh, I, I don't know about that. The last time I left the world went topsy-turvy. Arno, please. OK, all right, but I must say, I am feeling very used and put upon. We thank you for your <laughs> sacrifices. <laughs> Exactly, roses or chocolates. Did I ever tell you I engaged him? No, I don't think I've heard that one. He said, Lisa, he could say my name so sweetly without the slightest trace of sarcasm. He told me, Lisa, those old pharaohs were so afraid of death. They gathered together all of their glittering possessions to bring with them to the next life. But when I died, I wouldn't want any of that, Ocha. When I woke up, I would just want you by my side. My immortal breath. Lisa, things between you and Joshua seem to be going so well. I never really understood why you broke it up. You really seem to love him. I still do. Well, then why He's you- so sarcastic. He could be so mean. Despite all of that, I loved him anyway. But, but what does that say about me? Did I love meanness? Do I love cruelty? I mean, really, what does that say about me? Arnold has his faults, hasn't he? But I don't love Arnold. What? Really? I, can, I can marry him without incriminating myself. He's safe. Don't you see? If I don't love him, that means I'm not like him. Lisa, do you understand what you're saying? I can't love an evil person, Joe. Then you can't love anyone. Can't love me. That's cruel, Joe. Your cruelty has been the worst of any of us. Don't you see the paradox? How can I love cruelty? How can I love meanness? We're all mutts, Lisa. Mangy, slobbering mutts. Good for nothing, good for something, mutts. A mixture of good and evil both. None of us can escape that kind of reading. Arnold. Arnold, please. Let me no. just say one more thing. No, you're not going anywhere near her. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa, please. Joshua, my dear, dear Joshua, 
do care about our rankings. What? That's that's the reward for my love and my loyalty. Well, don't come expect me to begin crawling back to you like this guy. Do you hear me? I have too much dignity for that. understand? I am yours forever. You're a mortal bride. 